from the old curiosity shop and uh, off for another exciting day of thrifting I'm hoping you can see a little bit I know I have uh, kind of noisy right there I thought maybe I would give uh, my friends down in Australia <laughs> a peek at the snow I know you folks up in Canada are going please you know put your bathing suit on right go to the Jersey Shore it's beautiful but uh, hello Australia, hello Canada, hello Norway, oh my gosh I'm gonna forget uh, England and I think I have some someone on the Fiji Islands there's a place you can look and see who's watching you so that's exciting but hello to all my new subscribers this is another one of those come along with me let's go thrifting things I'm on North Broad Street in Philadelphia you really can't see anything it's probably all whitewashed behind me I was hoping you'd be able to catch some of the streetscape uh, of the snow to put you in the mood if you haven't yet gotten any snow in your part of the country but uh, I'll try to film a little bit later on so I'm gonna stop get myself a small pumpkin spice with cream and one Splenda yes Geo I'm keeping my eyes on the road uh, thank you one of my subscribers said keep your eyes on the road all right I am I'm at a stop sign or a stop light <laughs> so, I'm get you caught up. right Okay, it's coffee time. Can you see a little bit more of the uh, snowfall? Ooh, don't you pull out in front of me. All right, I'll be back soon. Oh, I forgot to say one thing. Do not make fun of my scarf. The person who's typing right now, get off the comments. I know it's full of holes. Do you know how old this scarf is? Do you know how many moth holes are in this thing? This, uh, I've had this scarf for over <clears throat> 30 years because when I was in high school, <clears throat> excuse me, or college, I was in a production of uh, Annie and I played several roles in it, but one of them was one of the uh, Hooverites of Hooverville and I had to look very Great Depression and I went to my grandmother or grandfather and I said I need some old Depression era clothes and he went back and pulled out some stuff that I couldn't have been, I don't think it was his. I think belonged to his father. So it's full of uh, moth holes. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see. Isn't this awful? Isn't this terrible? Maybe I'll get better prices at the thrift shop. Look at this. And a stain down there, all those rips. But you know what? Anyway, I whiskey coffee. coffee. Okay, what's going on here? I know it's an ashtray. Are they suggesting that this is where you put your butts? <laughs> Did I find something? Vintage Christmas. So, for $3.99, this bag full 
Now, some of it looks like it's going to be like toss out. Uh, there's a few modern things in here, but I don't know if you can see. Let's see. All I had to see was oh, rats. I'm not going to be able to find it. Oh, there he is. You see him? I saw his face right there in his little green suit. Turned him upside down, looked at his bum. That's for my English uh, watch listeners. Looked at his rear end or his butt, and it's made in Japan. So I had to grab the whole thing. And guess what? I'm not going to unwrap it here. Yes, we will look at it together. We, that's you, me, and the mouse in my pocket. So you're going to have to stay tuned for that. Now let me get out here and scrape the snow off the car. It's too early for this mess. <laughs> oh well. Could be rain. Uh, almost there. All right, folks, I am back. <laughs> it's really me. I know you can't see me, but it's time for the big uh, unraveling of the Goodwill bag. Now, hold on for a second. Okay, I had to have a sip of that. And you, young man, are going to have to take a hike. Okay, so, whew, um, yeah, we're having some, uh, the first snow of our season here at Move Salem. Yes, I know. Uh, anyway, here's the big bag. And um, we really weren't supposed to get, well, I didn't really pay any attention to the weather like I should have. I knew it was going to do something, but I didn't know that it was going to, it's, it's, a really thick, heavy snow, and they really didn't treat the roads at all, so. But it's not that bad. All right, so are you ready? This was a whopping $3.99. And as I said, I think some of the stuff in here is going to be, I won't say throw away, but uh, donation, I'll redonate. And then there are, there are also what appears to be some 1960s Japan, made in Japan things. So, so that this video is not two hours long, let's break it wide open. Come on. Okay, let's literally break it wide open. Good, the cat has decided to go and nest on something and not bother me for the moment. His name is Salem, by the way, and he is 18 years old. And yes, he and I have been together for 18 years. I'll tell you more about him some other time. All right, we've got it open. Let's see what we've got. This guy right here doesn't say made in Japan. He's flocked. And he's probably not that old, so he's going to be... He's cute, but he's going to be no big deal. This thing says... Yeah, this says nothing. This, again, is no big deal. You're going to get tired of me saying that. Well, this is cute. These are probably still 19... This one's probably 1960s. I guess you would still say flocked. With He's got that fuzzy flocking on him. He doesn't have any sticker on him, but he's kind of like a hard plastic, and he's 1960s, I think. Uh, this would be someone in need of a chiropractor. No, he's going to need a little bit more than that. Um, I think we have some serious damage here. Uh, this guy doesn't look old, so we won't be too concerned about that. Now, this is what I was waiting for. Here are the... I hope you can see. Is it focusing? It doesn't look like it is. It says, all new materials. We've seen that before. I don't know that it's gonna... I can't really see, but anyway. Little elephant. And based upon that sticker and just the design of it, it looks like 1960s. So he's cute. Uh, no big deal, that's new. 
This is old. This is a Napco made in Japan. He's got his sticker on the bottom. And he's an elf, and he's probably another one of those 1960s elves. Or, yeah, elf, pixie, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's new. That's no big deal. We've already seen one of these teddy bears. Here's another one playing a lute or a something. Is that a lute? I don't know. And it has a hook on it, so I'm going to put that over here and be careful with that. Uh, this doesn't say anything, but she's looking on the 19, kind of looking a little 60s to me. Come on. All right, she's cute. Another one. It looks like there's going to be a whole bunch of the, what do we got going on here? Looks like there's a lot of these. I'm going to have to bundle all these together, I guess. And I think these teddy bears are, would be 60s. This is hard plastic, and I don't think that's all that great. I don't think that's old. This is what caught my eye. This is super cool. We can see right on his little hiney, Japan, and he's a knee hugger. And from what I know about these knee huggers is, at least what I saw, uh, what I've seen online is these unusual outfits. And now he's all ready for the disco. And, um, or cl the club, because he's really fancily dressed, and he's in excellent shape. This is the guy that I saw, and this is the reason why I bought the whole bag. This could be a $20 pixie right here. And it's because he, do he doesn't have the typical red or green felt outfit. He's in a green sparkly pantsuit. I could be wrong on that, maybe $15, but he's not a $5 elf. And he's vintage. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, 50s, 60s Japan, so I'm thrilled with that. Calico, bear, or whatever, that's not old. That's not old. I'm trying not to step on a hook. Here is Bunny in a Basket, I think. Are you glued in there? Yeah, I don't think you're old. So he probably doesn't. Are you missing an eye? Oh, bless his heart. He's missing an eyeball. So nothing to scream about there. These don't say, that says made in Hong Kong. So I don't think these are particularly anything hot. Oh yeah, man. All right, there's another Japan. Uh, don't these two look great together? Not you, get away. These two, sweet. Because these outfits are much more harder to find and sought after. So these are these are these are cool. This will bring me three times what I paid just for this entire bag. Let's see what else. He's not old. That's not old. You tired of hearing me say that? That's probably again nothing all that great. No good. Um this one says made. In Japan, that's an interesting made in Japan sticker. I haven't seen one like, I know it's not focusing. So, but anyway, I haven't seen a sticker like that. That's kind of a 60s head, don't you think? And she's flocked. Okay, clown. Um, he's flocked. And he has very nice pipe cleaner hairstyle. Alright, uh, let's see, these are not old, I don't think, there's a broom, somebody's broom, handcrafted for florist quality, okay, cute, but these aren't particularly great, uh, everybody's stuck together here, here's another one of these guys, whoa, he's got some fancy pants, That's, is this Elton John? Oh boy, George, he's working that glitter. He's cool, he's cool. Let's get some more unusual. What is this? Oh, this is adorable. It's a little 1960s squirrel. He's got a little bit of damage to his flocking on his paw, on his front 
things, paws, I guess. And he's also got that long made in Japan sticker on the bottom in his little nightcap. He's kind of cool. All right, these things are going to go right into the fireplace. No, I'm kidding. Um, but these things are not of any particular interest to me. I'll probably recycle these. You know, it's the vintage stuff I'm into. Here are, here's something somebody's granny made. That's no big deal. That is no big deal. This is nice. Okay, he's cool. He's definitely 19. Now we're looking at, he has a real 50s look to him to me. And he is a, uh, he's got antlers. I don't know what he is. Is he a reindeer? He doesn't have a reindeer uh, body on the back. He's not a mouse with antlers. So I don't know what he is, but he's very 50s, 60s, probably 60s. His little Japan sticker is gone, but that's a nice, unusual one in the, to go in the vintage pile. Not old, no big deal. Not old, no big deal. Not old and no big deal. Here's another one of these really neat little 60s flocked mice. This is not old. Here's another one of those uh, big headed uh, 60s heads. Remember that hairdo? I'm sure a lot of you watching know exactly when that hairdo was with that when they would put it up in the back like that. She has that made in Japan on her as well. So she's a 60s piece. Uh, this thing is not old and has no value. Oops, you just lost your head. Ooh, that is creepy. Okay, this is definitely going into the fireplace. Hmm, I'm gonna have, wait a minute. I guess she's supposed to have freckles or the measles or something, but, or acne. Uh, okay, let's see, at least, is that gonna go back on there? Okay. Uh, okay. Parental guidance on that one. Mm, cute little mouse. Gonna have to glue his bib back on with a pipe cleaner tail. Very uh, whimsical. I'll have to say 60s. You need to have your beard cleaned and this guy needs a little bit of work, but he's a Napco. I don't know if you can see. Uh, he's got a cap on, a night cap. We have to fix his beard a little bit there. And he's wearing a little smock kind of thing. And he has pipe cleaner arms. So he's very vintage. All right, another one. We are striking it rich with these multi, these knee huggers that have all these different. So that means I've got three of these guys and they're all marked Japan. These guys are gonna do very well. Gotta do a little more research, but it looks like snap, crackle, and pop, doesn't it? Yeah, these three are gonna be the money guys right here. Uh, I wonder if there's another one in there. I'm gonna wrap this up in a minute so this doesn't go on too long. That's not old. That's not old. Now this is, oops. Okay, this is nice. This is a Japan piece. And we've got some, like, they look like almost chenille pipe cleaner. Uh, candy canes, which I need to reform on the top. The boot is flocked. Turn this, in. have to do a little uh, restoration on this. As you can clearly see, it's seen better days, but that's a vintage one. More of these angels, and what else have we got? Uh, oh, this is cool. Wow. Here's the partridge in the pear tree. This is made in Japan. That is really psychedelic. I mean, if that's not 60s, isn't that great? With the clip here. And there's the Japan, Made in Japan sticker on the back. 
That's really neat. Very 60s. I think. What do you say? That's what I say. And one more pixie. Okay. Now this one is... Uh, I'm not sure what we've got going on here. Okay, I'll let you be the judge. I like his outfit. We can see made in... There's the 60s era made in Japan. See it? Even though it might be blurry. But his arms are folded and they're behind him. Now his knees... I don't know how we get his arms over to the front. This is very stiff and it doesn't look like it was ever bent. So I don't know how his arms got stuck behind him or what his story is, but he's pretty unusual. I guess you can see it. So anyway, and then there are more of these things in here that the angels that the cat's gonna really enjoy messing with. All right, so uh, some eh stuff, but loving these guys. And uh, then this is really sweet from the 60s. The partridge is phenomenal. And some other, other neat mid-century items in here. So all in all, uh, I think I'm happy with the $3.99 or whatever I paid for this bag. Um, I think if these three guys do what I think they're going to do, these three plus, uh, there's a, and there, you know, there's a, probably about, I think maybe five of these mice that are kind of 60s-ish. Um, I think I could be looking at 40 bucks once we get it all parted out and um, decide how I'm going to break it all up and put it online. We'll see. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is pack all this stuff back into this bag and then take you out into the kitchen and show you what else I got. Okay, we're going to wrap it up out here in the kitchen with a few more vintage things. I just picked up the other day for $3 this enamelware uh, coffee pot, which is in the white and blue color. Not the cream and green that I usually find, but I paid $3 for this. It's in really good shape. And they were still making these into the 1930s, so it's kind of difficult to tell exactly when it was made. It needs to be cleaned, but it's in really good shape. So I need all of my country kitchen people to, to let me know if you want this. That is going to sell for about... 15 to 20 bucks that is an escutcheon plate off of the uh, the crank shaft of a victrola here's my very first primary set i was thrilled to pay 30 did i pay 30 or 25 i think he wanted 30 and i and he took 25. uh i was at a flea market bright and early and i got it all the bowls came from one estate this is a set that's been together since it was manufactured it's not one that was pieced together and I was able to look at the bottom here and this, because of the, uh, the embossed uh, label, well, they're all embossed, but because of the design of it, this puts it in that 1945 to 1950 period. And I won't go into that now because you can all Google that and you probably already know that anyway, how to check your Pyrex. Excellent condition, beautiful shape, really excited. I don't remember what these sets go for. This is my first set, and I think they go for somewhere around 70 bucks or so, but because this is a 1945 to 1950 set, I think I can do better on that. Here are two strings, or a, yeah, this is one string that already has all of its light bulbs in it. These are the C7 light bulbs, and this is probably a 1950s string. And then this over here takes a smaller light bulb. These were a, a dollar each. And this is, uh, I have to look for some light bulbs for this one. So two vintage strings of Christmas lights. These are hard composite material. And I believe these date to the Depression era or maybe even into the 1920s. They're candlestick holders. And if you look at the bottom, they are called compo site or composite made in the USA. And it is some type of composite, some type of early plastic. It's not Bakelite or celluloid, but I don't know what it's made of. I've seen these before. And I'm just guessing, that's the only chip is right there. But I'm, I'm guessing by the, the look of these that these are 1920s. 
or uh, early to mid 30s. You've seen him before. This is the second one. It's hard plastic. Uh, I don't know who made it. I don't remember. And he's a 19. He dates from the 50s into the very early 60s. It's the hard plastic before the blow mold era. I already sold one of these and the guy who just loves it wrote back and said he loved it. And then this is the second one that I have. Not sure what I'm going to do with him. You've seen these before. Uh, I had a set of them and sold them. And this isn't now. Uh, yeah, that was in my Christmas in July video. This one I just picked up for four dollars. It's a Miro Star M I R O S T A R. That's who made these. And it's, you always know it's Miro Star when you see this sort of fishnet uh, stocking type uh, mess on the candlesticks. Let me unplug this a little bit better so maybe you can uh, actually see what it looks like sometimes you can see it easier without the lights on and uh, this one has the these date um, to actually the late 50s into the 1960s so I'm gonna put it somewhere between 1958 and 1965 okay so those are the Christmas vintage Christmas things that I also picked up this week and uh, okay that's it thanks for watching everybody it's Scott from the old curiosity shop saying thanks for watching and so long for now mm -hmm.